Hello everybody welcome to Khaltri 3D in this video I will explain you about my process of how I render and composite in Photoshop I render uh, my main image in ZBrush what I do I export render passes if you go to here render you will see a multiple render passes now what are render passes I will explain you while doing this video and use these render passes in a Photoshop so my render purpose consist of two software the zbrush itself where i did all the work here and photoshop where i will use those paths and use a bit of painting of uh, my skill to convert this uh, zbrush render into a more appealing way of thing now you can also export this in blender or maya or any other software for it but uh, for my process and what i use uh, for the concept purposes as you remember I sculpted this T-Rex for the concept purposes and it is a very fast process ZBrush to Photoshop now I want to uh, shout out MLW creative I learned this matter from me check out this channel if you did not really amazing guy and really amazing work MLW creative I learned this matter from him and I'm very grateful that he shared his free tutorials on YouTube I will use his techniques and a little bit of mine uh, some settings I did like my way and uh, his settings are good but uh, I did customize it for my own use so I will explain my method first of all uh, this method requires bit of custom materials and some of the materials I will use ZBrush provide by default but some of the materials I downloaded it's free if you go to Google and write ZBrush material this first link will pop up Pixelogic ZBrush download center library and I will use these materials and name you one by one like DJ Soft Solar, GK Bubblegum what you have to do is search those materials inside this uh, website they are easy to find and uh, for example this is DJ Soft Solar I think yeah this is the front DJ Soft Solar one by one the materials are not that much it's like seven or eight materials some of the ZBrush provide itself so what I do I first of all create a cam view for my workflow what I do is uh, how to save a cam view okay I explained this on my previous uh, videos and to uh, save the cam view what is cam view is that uh, for example I like this post okay I like this post for example this post okay now I want to save this viewport this cam view so if I switch here and here with just one click I switch back to this so it is easy to do to save a viewport you have to go to document and uh, click on Z app link and click on custom one it will save your viewport so if you move it you can just go to document and click on cust one and custom one to have this proper view and you can also save this view for the future use you can here click the save view and it will, it will ask for a documentary where you want to save just click it and it will save a view file so at first what i do is i add a secondary light which is very important this is a key light and uh, now i have to add a area light to cover it up for example if you click on light here you will see here the all this bulb all these lights you can add I will click it here to add the second light okay now we can move this cursor to place our light and now what I do is I press shift R on my keyboard to see the outcome of the render okay the outcome of the render by hitting shift and R you can also click PBR render to render it okay and uh, here it is BPR render or shift R now after getting satisfied with the lights what I do is I turn on the distance by 70 by 30 okay down by 30 it is by default 100 what I usually do is I kept it around 70 now here it is the render tab which is a very important tab just click and drag here 
okay so we don't have to click it here again and again to switch it now render properties click it these are the important steps okay click on render properties and details it should be four okay now ambient occlusion turn it on okay shadows and ambient occlusion must be turned on and uh, what i do is uh, hit uh, click on bpr uh, shadow and uh, turn the shadow by 30 give it a 30 angle okay and uh, go to bpr and uh, switch to raise to 400 and uh, resolution to 1000 okay v depth turn it to 1 important steps blur to 1 okay these are the render settings i do keep and i learned it from the mlw creative which i mentioned uh, in my previous when the video was started here okay now what i do is i will hit render by clicking shift r or I will click it BPR render after having render it is supposed to be a quick render the more good PC you have the faster the render it will be because turning the uh, rays of both ambient occlusion and shadow tend to increase the render time here I forgot to turn the raised 400 to BPR shadow okay the BPR shadow to 400 and the BPR AO to 400 with 1000 resolution blur one and V depth one. I will hit render again. Now after the render is completed, click on BPR render pass and you will see all these passes here. The important passes are these five passes. Don't ignore this composite pass. Okay, we will first of all save all these passes by clicking on the shade it. Uh, you can specify a location for example I will specify a desktop my desktop and I will switch it to PSD which is Photoshop remember you will use those in Photoshop okay I will click here rename it to main okay and uh, I will click on this one by one and save with BPR depth uh, BPR shadow and bpr ao and the marks okay now we have the important render passes exported now what i will do is i will switch to materials uh, and uh, export the render pass one by one what we have to do is uh, click or render properties again now we don't need shadows and ambient occlusion okay turn this off now the first material i will use it will be flat color okay i will hit shift r and i will export it uh, i will click on the render pass and i will export it in the material tab okay flat then i will switch to my sub cruise from now on you don't need the poly paint of the mesh because we would be uh, using the standard materials uh, which doesn't import uh, the matcap material sorry which doesn't uh, respect the poly paint okay i will click and hold shift and click this brush to turn off all the poly paint of this sub tools okay now the first material i'll be using the second after the flat would be madcap skin of four okay control shift r shortcut to render it and then export it by bpr render pass and madcap skin of four remember to rename them so we would be able to use these passes easily in photoshop the second one i would be using madcap skeleton okay hit shift r and one by one skeleton i will rename it okay the third one would be framer one remember this render passes are by default added in zbrush and some are not which you have to download from the zbrush website which i have mentioned when i started this video they all are free okay framer one okay now dj soft solar shift r and uh, dj 
soft solar okay now for the reflective map i would be using you can choose between the one and two i will select the reflected material map to reflected map to you could also choose an experiment with reflective map one okay i will choose the reflect reflective material uh, ref reflective map to hit shift r and just reflect it i will save it okay now i will hit it to the sl skin mat okay i will hit shift r sl skin mat sl skin mat okay and save this material okay uh, other than that gk bubblegum is also the important word just hit shift r to render and export this material don't worry i will tell you all about this material in the next video how to use it in the photoshop okay with this method you can really convert your renders into a professional looking okay now ai normal map is also important click it and shift r save it ai normal maps now then click on it and uh, now for the rim light there is a trick and uh, what you have to do is hit v on your keyboard to switch to the black matte cap and switch it to either blin or either jelly bean i rendered both this material out okay first i will select the blin now go to light turn the secondary light off by clicking it here okay and select the first light then turn the intensity to 3.5 plus okay 3.5 plus and turn the distance to high and click on here you can by clicking here you can change the light direction but click in hit again like a gentle tap you can divert the light convert the light into a rim light okay now the light is reflecting from the back side of the model okay by clicking it here it reflects from the front click in here again and it reflects from the back this is how i uh, use i add rim light in zbrush now we can play with okay, what rim light we want to add and select and for example i like this i will hit shift r render it and i will add another folder called light okay click in on light one save it now you can export multiple passes uh, however you, you like the light what i use i mostly use two light or three light in this video and in this example i will add two lights i will select the jelly bean and uh, this time change the direction of the light okay like uh, this okay and in photoshop i either use one light or two light or depending your model supposed to be look good okay now i will save it shift i will hit shift r and save this light as light 2 okay now we are almost done okay now it's optional you could make a color id for the photoshop for example you can turn the material to flat color again and this time hit v on your keyboard to convert to a white one and uh, by clicking and holding shift and clicking on this brush you could get back to own the polypaint here now for the collect for the color id all the sub tool have to be in one color in order to photoshop to detect the colors and select it okay for example this whole body the is red but with multiple red okay what i will do is select to switch to the whole body i will hit c to pick a single color and fill the object so it the whole body is in red okay for the teeth i switch to the teeth hit c to pick the color and fill the object to make it a one color okay this is how example switch to tongue click it here and uh, 
fill object okay this is how you can make a color id for your uh, model okay here i think i will go with the darker so it is different from that okay here for the eyes i would switch it to white and fill it the object okay now all the subtools have only one primary color and this is perfect for the color id we will hit shift r and uh, save it as the color id now we have all the materials we need to use in photoshop and uh, this is the end of this video here in the next video i will be explaining how to use these render passes in photoshop and create a great great looking render so thank you for watching this video if you like my video share it uh, subscribe the channel if you haven't and share this video as much as you can and uh, that's it take care